Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. A devotional by Ellen White. December 14th. At home in the New Jerusalem. In the land of fadeless day lies the city four square. It shall never pass away, for there is no night there. God shall wipe away all tears. There's no death, no pain, no fears. And they count not time by years, for there is no night there. At home in the new Jerusalem. Be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 18. There is the new Jerusalem, the metropolis of the glorified new earth a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. The nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. Saith the Lord, I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. In the city of God, there shall be no night. None will need or desire repose. There will be no weariness in doing the will of God and offering praise to his name. We shall ever feel the freshness of the morning and shall ever be far from its close. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light. The light of the sun will be superseded by a radiance which is not painfully dazzling, yet which immeasurably surpasses the brightness of our noontide. The glory of God and the Lamb floods the holy city with unfading light. The redeemed walk in the sunless glory of perpetual day. I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. The people of God are privileged to hold open communion with the Father and the Son. Now we see through a glass darkly. We behold the image of God reflected as in a mirror in the works of nature and in his dealings with men. But then we shall see him face to face without a dimming veil between. We shall stand in his presence and behold the glory of his countenance. There we shall know even also as we are known. There the loves and sympathies that God has planted in the soul will find truest and sweetest exercise, the pure communion with holy beings, the harmonious social life with the blessed angels and with the faithful ones of all ages, the sacred fellowship that binds together the whole family in heaven and earth. All are among the experiences of the hereafter. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.